Before we get into the topic, you may need to have an understanding of what chemical bonding is. Chemical bonding are the forces that hold atoms together. This force is the attraction between the electrons of an atom and the nucleus of another atom. Now that you know what chemical bonding is, you should know that there are three types of chemical bonding we are going to go over. The first is ionic bonding. Ionic bonding is when a bond in which one or more electrons from one atom are removed and attached to another atom, resulting in positive and negative ions which attract each other. A positive ion is called a cation, and a negatively charged ion is called an anion. Ionization energy is the amount of force it takes to separate parts of atoms. The next type is covalent bonding. Covalent bonding happens when an atom shares electrons with another atom so that they can each have a full valence shell. There are different types of covalent bonds, which are called polar and nonpolar covalent bonds. A polar covalent bond is an uneven sharing of an electric electron pair between two elements. A nonpolar covalent bond is the type of bond that is formed when electrons travel freely from one valence shell to the other, then the distribution of charges is symmetrical. Next is metallic bonding. In metallic bonding, the electrons of the atom are shared with all the atoms connected to the atom. So the electrons from the atom moving freely from valence shell to valence shell, it is because of this unique type of bonding that gives the metal its malleability. And now we're getting to the topic of electronegativity. Electronegativity is the tendency of an atom to attract electrons in the formation of an ionic bond. The end. <laughs> of 